be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, but without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we are now in the Christmas season. This is the time when we really and truly rejoice in the birth of Christ. And uh, so for society, uh, Christmas is ended and they move on. But for us as people of faith, we rejoice for a much longer time in the birth of our Savior, Jesus. So to prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Today, brothers and sisters, we also pray the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing to new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you, for the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says, he is in the light, yet hates his brother, he is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother, he is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the, Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. 
Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory to your people, Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. The man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit to the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people, a light revealed to, you to, the, uh, revealed to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> So today's brothers and uh, today's readings, brothers and sisters, uh, speak to us about light and darkness. Um, we see uh, in Simeon, he says, "This is a, holding the child Jesus. This is a light uh, to the nations." And uh, uh, the images of light and darkness run throughout the Christmas uh, season and the readings because again that is our understanding Jesus was a light in the darkness a light to the whole world um, I often comment about how we take light for granted you know without light we we wouldn't see imagine a world that lived in true darkness where um, everything would be unknown everything would be frightening uh, I used the example of long, long time ago when I went to uh, to the zoo, the Houston Zoo, and um, I went to the section that had all of the nocturnal animals. These are the animals that live in the deepest part of the Amazon forest where the canopy of trees doesn't let the light get in, and so they live in, in darkness, almost eternal darkness. But uh, these animals are... Um, very strange compared to all the other animals in the zoo. Uh, the inability to see things has meant that they have other senses that are heightened. Um, there's a, a sloth that uh, just crawls slowly along the tree branches and you can just um, imagine what his <laughs> concern uh, is because uh, any moment he could take one step and be off the branch of the tree and fall down to the predators below. Uh, but he has a heightened sense of smell and so he can find his way uh, through that. Uh, there's another 
monkey that has extremely large ears and so it can't see but it can hear the slightest sound uh, but it's always flitting from one branch to another trying to stay out of the way of whatever it uh, thinks is uh, there as a threat to it and uh, this to me is where we would be uh, as human beings if we lived in darkness and we, we live in fear of everything and uh, it would be impossible to have life as we truly know it. But Jesus is the light in the darkness. Jesus shows us that evil can be defeated. Jesus gives us the knowledge of, and truth so that we know right from wrong, which is why we are compelled to seek the right, to seek and do what is good. Without that light, evil would have its sway with us because we would be in darkness to what to do. And we would uh, see everything as either a threat or uh, a safe haven when in fact it isn't. So I think the image is a powerful one and I just commend to you. I mean, even, even our Christmas decorations are kind of a um, reminder of that, that uh, uh, light is important to us and Christ is the light. Christ is the light of knowledge. Christ is the light of faith. Christ is the light of hope. He's come into the world to enlighten us and to bring us uh, knowledge of the Father and the Father's love for us. So let us turn now to that Father with our prayers and petitions this day. Trusting in the Lord's goodness, we turn to him now with our prayers and petitions. For the church throughout the world, may the love of Christ continue to transform us into his likeness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, may the Spirit Bless them with wisdom and light, right judgment in their efforts to protect the sanctity of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are lonely, may the Lord console and lift their spirits. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the grace of the sacraments transform us and deepen our commitment to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they soon be welcomed into the eternal banquet by our Lord and all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also very specially pray for the departed soul of Nail Korea. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also bring our special intentions, family intentions before the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and eternal God, the light of all nations, hear these prayers which we bring before you with trusting hearts and answer them in accordance with your divine will. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church that is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, then with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory, glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter my roof. When you say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us pray one Hail Mary in protection of our children. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, the Lord, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. 